Standard controller versus custom modded controller. Who wins? Let's break it down. Looks and feel. I think we can clearly see that the customized controller looks much better than the boring standard controller. The standard controller has cheap plastic that looks and feels bland. The custom controller has a soft touch paint finish with a smooth and velvety feel. One point, the custom controller. Face buttons. The face buttons may look similar, but what you can't see are the clicky face buttons inside the custom controller. They give you a quicker, more responsive and satisfying press compared to the standard face buttons. Another point, the custom controller. Thumbsticks. There's not much to say about the standard thumbsticks, they work fine, but the custom controller has interchangeable thumbsticks with different textures and heights. It allows you to mix and match and figure out what thumbstick setup works best for you. So definitely another point to custom controller. Triggers. We all know how standard triggers work, they have a long press to activate and semi-auto guns suck with them. The custom controller has 2mm bolt mouse click triggers that limit the distance the trigger can be pulled so it activates much quicker. Not to mention how satisfying they are to press. You guessed it, another point for custom controller. The last round, the back. If custom controller wasn't going to win already, this mod would make it win. The back buttons. There are two extra buttons on the back of the controller where your unused fingers rest. They can be bound to any buttons you want and let you stay in control of the thumbsticks at all times instead of having to quickly remove them to press a face button. Unsurprisingly, the custom mod and controller wins 5 to nothing. Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you want to design your own custom controller, check out GameNetics.com.